Hi everyone, this is a video about this Sony Walkman and this one is a little bit battered, I mean not battered, scratched and the screen was scratched. I tried to polish it without damaging all of surrounding of it, but it's still uh, lots of uh, scratches is presented to me by looking at it closely and this Walkman is one of the latest one that is the model number is WM FX822 there is another model 811 that the uh, screen is narrowed on the top but this one I think is much better anyhow this is a very good one. It has the mega bass and the groove and uh, you know the stations and then Dolby and all of that that you can see here. Dolby extra bass, auto volume level system and automatic uh, music sensor and this is a radio cassette player that is really good I prefer the radio cassette players Walkmans to the only Walkmans because whenever you run out of your tape or you got uh, you know tired of the tape that it was in there while you are having a journey you can always uh, turn into the radio and listen to your radio without uh, getting bored Anyhow, what we have here is uh, a blank escape mode, which is for repeat both sides uh, until ever, or uh, just play both sides and stop, and then Dolby here. We have extra bass and uh, double bass, and then uh, auto volume level system, and then FM mode with the menu set you can set all of these and then here we have fast forward and rewind and also minus and plus for the preset radio stations this one doesn't have much only have eight uh, preset stations for fm and eight for am so not very versatile but you know it's still eight uh, preset stations is good to get you out of your boredom and then a stop play and auto reverse and then selection band and this one that is the hold button and the hold button on this is different I show you at the end of the video the inside of this just to have a look at it to see how it uh, looks like anyhow the only thing is show you around this one is one of those that it takes gum stick batteries 1.2 volts gum stick batteries and then uh, is it this one is really sensitive to the uh, uh, oxidization there and if you are not cleaning this properly is is just going to with every shake and bump is going to show you that I need to be clean there. I'll show you again uh, at the end of this video how to uh, find that part that is just not uh, functioning properly. And this one is the bottom feeder. It means all the gobbings and the head and the pinch rollers, they are all at the top and then you have to bottom feed it from the bottom and the head is up here so now uh, still uh, you can connect your inline remote control here and then volume here nothing anywhere else but there it has a surprise for you because as you have noticed here you don't have the individual buttons to just um, tune in the radio up and down. So where are they? 
they are situated here. So this is the uh, memory for the memory. If you want to uh, store it, you just press this one. And with these two, you just go increments up and down uh, on the scale of FM and AM. And then you press memory, enter memory. And then here, with the up and down, you select between 1 and 8. And then press memory back again and then it stops flashing and it means that you are stored on that preset number that you chosen and that goes for all of them so i have already uh, selected some of them let me just show you this is the radio fm and as you see it has only fm and am so it doesn't have FM1, FM2, and FM3 like any other ones that uh, are capable of uh, storing more than eight preset stations. So that's it really. And then with this, these two are only used for selecting preset stations. That's it. So now the only thing that remains is how to stop it and press a stop and you are out of the settings, out of the radio. So in order to select any of these little ones uh, settings, you press menu. Now we are at a uh, sound processor that is off, extra bass, and double bass and then if you press it again you go to auto volume level system if you press a smiley face is coming and if you press set again it just goes out and then fm mono and stereo and then blank skip on off on and then mode for auto reverse and play both sides and then the stop and then you go for Dolby uh, are we there yes. oh we moved a little bit too far you see sometimes I cannot see yeah this is the Dolby Dolby on off and then back to the extra bass and we have the battery indicator and the hold button and nothing anywhere else but the one that I showed you inside. It's just those three. Minus, plus and enter. Anyhow, now we are going to play a song and then I show you the inside of this. So the volume I think is okay and we press. There are a lot, lot of uh, scratches, but uh, still, this is all metal body, remember? The only plastic is just this strip. And there is a little bit of a scratch here as well. And this one is plastic as well. There are lots of scratches here as well. And I have to tell you that this is one of the loudest transport system that uh, I, I have ever come across. Just listen to this. As <laughs> And then rewind and it has uh, automatic music sensor one up to 
two, three, three is the last one. And then stop and then play. And the fast forward is the same, it's fast forward Q, rewind Q as well. And now reach it, reach the beginning of the song. And this is automatic volume level system that is mute too far down that is is absolutely useless and then fm blank mode and dolby and then back to the extra bass let me see this is off extra bass and double bass now I want to show you some images from inside here it's very user friendly it's very good to change the easy to change the uh, belt on this one let me just find the images here and here it is the belt is there and let me just see if I can a little bit make it bigger And this is for the door that is coming inside, for the radio and the head and all of that. And another image, a little bit larger image. And the part that I told you is, you have to be cleaning that properly. This is the hinge of this door. This one has to be cleaned and the notch underneath here, it has to be cleaned because these two, when you close the door, they engage to each other. This and that, they engage to each other. That's how the positive is connected to all of the PCB. Anyhow, let me see if I have any more images of this. Let me see. This is another one, it's a little bit more clear. And this is the back of this facing. Anyhow, the price of this is going up to 120 pounds because it's more uh, one of the highest model, uh, the 822. And uh, if even not working of this it goes up to from 25 up to 50 pounds not working remember for repair or a spare and if you find something like this that is working is just uh, 100 pounds up to 150 pounds you can find this and if you can find it with a remote control charger and battery and uh, pouch and all of that you know yeah, still you expected to pay over and above 150 pounds anyway i hope you enjoyed this video until my next video take care of yourself and each other and as always have a great time